and this is it the calamari that I made and this one this biggest I'm talking about it's a bok choy and this is from our garden look it's pretty right yeah it's from our garden but I still need to wash it you know now I, I'm cutting garlic so I'm gonna make I'm gonna cook the stir fry veggies so I always use a lot of garlic that is my thing I wonder if the garlic is still good after frozen. I freeze it. No, I don't want to waste everything. So now I'm gonna make the sauce. When I do the stir fry, I normally mix all the sauce together before I put it in. Hmm. I love to use hoisin sauce in a stir fry. I normally use hoisin sauce. It's really good. And put a little bit of this, the tomato sauce. Just a little bit. Soya sauce, but I may normally use kikuman. Yeah, if we run out with normal soya sauce, so we Good use morning. it. Hey, morning. Say hi to my blog. I'm blogging. She just woke up. Happy birthday to you. Oh, not yet? No, my birthday. Okay, not yet. One more week. It's Juliana's birthday. It's Juliana's birthday today. It's Juliana. Juliana birthday today yeah and pretty much like just soya sauce this one I just put soya sauce a little bit of sesame oil and hoisin sauce and a little bit of tomato sauce so that I normally do this first when I do a, a stir fry I already mix it like this and I stir fry the veggies and put all the sauce in it so I do need to get it one at a time, you know? I think I need to put a little bit more because I never use salt. I mostly, if I do stir fry, I just use this. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this sauce, you know? Because I got a squid in it, so it's fine. Yeah, and pretty much ready for the stir fry, and I'll show you later. Hello, welcome to La Pang's blog. Today, I'm gonna make again, I'm gonna cook the squid. So, we'll see. It's my day of today, so I've got nothing to do at home. So, just try to cook this. If you uh, see the tail. Yeah, I'm gonna try to make something different. Hello, hello. Ito na naman ang inyong lapang. Actually, this garlic. I'm trying to frozen the garlic if it's almost getting rotten, so we save it. It's good. Yeah, I'm gonna start to marinate the squid. I'm gonna marinate this. I will try to do it at the fryer. And I always use a little bit of baking soda every time I do the fryer. Yes, 
just a little bit. But this is block. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna use this the Korean cake mix. I love using this. Just mix it and I'm gonna put a little bit of paminta. I love using paminta. So just using this. Instead of using salt, I'm gonna use this shaker seasoning so to put in the price. So the chips, so I don't need to use the chips, so I'm gonna use this, and that's it. And I'm gonna stir fry veggies later, so I got a veggies here from the garden. So we're gonna stir fry today instead of rice, just the calamari and the bok choy and other things. That's easy. And we need to mix it while I'm waiting for the deep fryer to get hot. So I'm gonna do the flour like this. Just use the hands. Don't worry about that. And I'm gonna dip in the tintactos first, like that. Oh no, what's wrong with that? Sorry about that, my camera is not stable. Just like this. I'm not good in cooking, but I'm just trying. Try to cook different things all the time, but I'm not the best one. Yeah, but I love to do cooking. Yeah, I love to do cooking, whatever I'm not good in it. So it's good to try something, you know. And I don't really love to go to the restaurant, so. I always like cook something different at home instead of go to the restaurant because maybe maybe because it's like I work in a restaurant I do cooking a lot and prepare so after two years I don't really wanted to go to the restaurant the restaurant only because it's like I go there because of my husband and my daughter want it. So, yeah. But if it's just me, I don't really like it. But it's because my husband told me, like, it's the best to go sometimes in a restaurant to get a different environment, different ambience, you know, than always eating at home. Yeah, that's how it is. So, but then, yeah, I'm not really things, so it's good. Yeah, this is almost done. This is how it is when I, like, dip in into the flour. But it's not a normal flour I use. I use the Korean cake mix, those savory cake mix, and... I put a little bit of uh, baking powder yeah, 
to make it more crunch like that i just do like this and then you know don't need to do too much in this in a little bit of like paminta or papa yo like just like that and wash my hands and done